Sorry guys, we just got cut off there, but I'm going to break this video into two parts. Um, so yeah, I'll just pick up straight where I left off. Yeah, so we do hold pain in different parts of our body and um, really kind of understanding our own sense of self. If I met somebody and they can't demonstrate to me just a basic level of uh, self-emotional intelligence... I really, I'll remove myself as quickly as you could blink an eye from that person because I'm not interested in building relationships or connecting with people that are not connected to themselves. I'm sorry, I can't. I actually value emotional intelligence over any other form of intelligence because it, it just shows, you know, that our emotions are key indicators as to what is going on in our life. And if you're not connected to that and being honoring that and being truthful with your own emotions, things that you build off things that weren't built correctly will will fall apart. That's how the tower card happens, I guess. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, looking at this card, it is a, it's a gift, you know, pain is a gift. And it's, I think for me, I'm an artist, I'm a, I'm a creator being, I'm, you know, that weird guy that wears weird clothes and, you know, is very deep. Um, I, a lot of my pain comes from my trauma and I can be really honest with with that, I've gone through a lot of trauma in my life. Unbelievable amounts <clears throat> of trauma that you wouldn't, I can't even explain. Um, you know, I've had, I've had a lot of depression in my life. I've had a lot of problems. I struggle on a daily basis just existing in this world. Um, this card for me obviously is a really heavy hitter because I am an empath. I feel things very, very deeply. I see things, know things. Um, and of course, by default, just my existence is actually triggering to other people because when I try and talk to them, for me to try and connect with them authentically, they get triggered because I'm just bringing up what I see and then they, if they're not ready to see that, they'll turn on me or they'll turn on you. If, if you're out there and you're an empath, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So just daily function of life, um, you know, uh, going out, um, getting on public transport, it could be going to a bar, a club, a pub, just meeting people, dating people. And also it, it's a bit more, little bit more complicated for me because I am psychic medium. And so I could meet somebody and get ready for a date and I'd get in the car and drive there. And on the way, I've already got a download that's already telling me about this person. So it's quite tricky navigating life being, um, being me. And uh, also I have a lot of wounds that are unhealed. And I think that I'll look at that now. I'll just talk about it. So um, when we have trauma, we, we need to resolve it. We need to go back and complete the trauma. Okay. And as, as we're children, we go through trauma and we try to go back and process it, understand it and digest it so that we can integrate the lesson. And sometimes if we try to go back, we can't get the trauma resolved because we may need to include someone else um, and their behavior uh, for us so that we can understand it and kind of fill in the blank so that we can get a greater understanding of what happened and why that happened. Because when we're kids, we tend to not understand how what's happening. And that's where a lot of fragmentation does happen in childhood. We, we know that. But the problem is a lot of people that are not in self-awareness are not able to actually be accountable for their own behavior or in deflection or denial or disowning their own, their own, their own behavior, their own truth. So you can't just kind of come back to someone and say, hey, look, when you did this to me, um, what did that mean for you? Because this is what it meant for me. And I, I'm trying to understand why, why you did that. Because if you could just we could talk about it, then I could try and understand where you came from and then I could, you know, fill in the blank. But for a lot of time and when it comes to this card, I particularly around breakups and stuff like that, you try and look at it and the other person isn't able to receive that because they're in denial or, and I think that's also something that I have right now and I'll talk about it now. Why not? You know, may as well. We're being real. Um, I'm being very real and honest here is that, um, you, you know, it's like getting them to be accountable for their behavior. It's, it's really quite hard and you've got to kind of fill in the blanks on their behalf a lot of the time. So, and, and, under, and then hold space for them anyway, even if they can't hold space for you or can't receive you, don't want you, you might come to somebody with something that they've done and 
or something that someone else has done to you that's caused a lot of heartache or trauma and they turn away, they turn their head the other way, they look the other way, um, they're in denial, they're in deflection, they are disowning what, you know, what you're coming to them with. And a lot of the time what they'll do is they'll actually push it back onto you. Just like, um, yeah, like a perpetrator, I guess. Like you could come, like a lot of rape cases, um, you know, when the person comes out and says, look, this is what happened. A lot of the people around it will deny it. And they'll be like, nope, didn't happen. Nope, don't believe it. Um, because they'd have to actually own their part of being a part of like, where the hell were you when that happened. A lot of parents do this a lot and a lot of trauma and three of swords energy isn't just relationship breakups, it's relationships with our families. And, um, you know, life is about contrast. It is. Um, we've got a whole spectrum of uh, emotions, a whole spectrum of light and shade. And you know that I've looked at that in the major arcana card. We had a big chat in the devil card where we can't just focus on one element of something and completely ignore and disown the rest. That is fucking it's crazy, guys. Like we have to look at the whole thing and really understand how and why things came to be that the way that they are so that we can really unlock the lesson to um, grow and move forward. And also as well, um, you know, I think that's the thing. It's often said that we, the things that we push away in other people are the parts of ourselves that we are rejecting in ourselves because we're all one, you know, society functions as a, as a consciousness. Um, and, uh, I know that's, I, I know that's getting really heavy, but I mean, let's, you know, <laughs> this is a heavy card. And I think as well, also when it comes to, um, relationships and the three of swords, uh, little things that pop up around us, we need to look at them. It's the little things that make the big things. I know that sounds weird, but you know, when we don't speak our truth, we're not really honoring ourselves. and little things in relationships kind of build up a little bit and they get more and more and more and more and adds and it adds and it adds until it just comes back in the form of this monster and it just gets really explosive and hurtful. But had we just been able to own our truth and communicate um, which is what sword energy is. It's also, you know, communication is that we would be able to evade or not evade, but avoid these, um, you know, really heartbreaking, gut-wrenching gut punches to our relationships if we could just hold space with each other and be more, just be more fucking honest with each other. Um, you know, I've had a lot of, going back to a lot of my trauma, um, I have, you know, trust issues with people, people that I've trusted, that I've let into my life, that have looked me in the eye and said, I'll never ever do this, I'll never, and they're doing it. And, and you know, walking through that and then looking at myself and, and then kind of, you know, you get really angry. And I think anger is also tied into the Three of Swords. You know that, you know, guys, you know, guys know that anger is a cover emotion. There are only two actual emotions. There's only love or fear. So when someone is in anger, they're in pain. Okay, so that's where anger comes from pain. And pain is something that you can transmutate. And that's one thing that I wanted to look at with this card today is that I take my pain, I pour my pain inside of myself and I go, well, what do I do with this pain? How do I release it? And for me, like spiritually and in myself, the way that I release it is through my art. It's through my expression. It's through my drawings. It's through my, um, through whatever it is that I can create and put it out into the world. And hopefully I'll make the world a little bit better just by my breakup, breakdown of something or trying to explain some of the lessons that I've learned, I think it kind of makes me feel better because it's sharing and it's contributing and it's it's creating actual content. Um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, that's how I feel uh, about that. But I, I, I'm an artist and I channel a lot of my energy into my artwork. Obviously, it comes from my experiences and it comes from my truth. And that's where I get a lot of my um, knowledge from, I guess. Um, and I've also really learned with this card as well that we can't really punch something. Like you can't punch something with your hand and yet without your hand getting punched too. So it's kind of like it's a two-way street. Um, you know, the things that we push away in others, obviously, you know, it's a part of us that we're pushing in ourselves. And this card could be connected to any type of disappointment. It could be, you know, even self-hate you know it could be connected to loss but i think for the most part there's a sudden swift energy about the three of swords 
that comes through, which is um, it's separation. All pain is from separation. So, you know, it is loneliness. Uh, and that's one thing I'm going to say here as well, is that as a mystic or as a, you know, a person that is, you know, I'm into some hardcore esoteric stuff, whether, you know, whether you're out there and you're watching this video right now, you're probably in the same boat as me. A lot of your family will not understand you. They will think you're absolutely crazy. A lot of people will reject you based on just being into, you know, having different thought patterns or questioning authority or looking at things differently. That's generally not received well at all. And for a lot of people, they have to hide this stuff. They've got to suppress a part of who they are and pretend to be what society needs for them to survive. I mean, that's a big process that we go through called socialization. And it's kind of like the world needs us to be that way. Um, for me, this card is also connected to like you could meet somebody that you really feel you have a connection with and all of a sudden they just discard you. They ghost you. You don't hear back from them. You don't know why or what you've done. Like, what did I do wrong? I don't know. And a lot of the time you didn't do anything wrong. You know, you were just being you and and um, whatever it was in them, they just couldn't deal with their own emotions. And unfortunately, you know, it is harder. It's getting harder and harder. We are in an age of technology. It's a great thing that we have technology because we can communicate with each other instantly. And we can also, you know, just de block, deflect someone instantly as well. Um, and our projection as well is very much, um, you know, how we can change other people perceive us based on the things that we put forward in ourselves, but it's not really who we are. It's like kind of like a, um, filtered photoshopped image of ourselves to other people. And we're projecting something that isn't really how we're feeling. We're not really that happy. And I think this for me ties into a bit of wellness culture, which is about having obtained wellness but not really integrating it. Like it's, it's, it's a way of having, but not being. And I see that a lot actually, um, in all, you know, in all different communities, in all different things. Uh, so yeah, I think, <laughs> I hope I guys haven't lost you. I know that's a bit heavy, but it's something that I feel. And loneliness also is hard because, what I've discovered is that the further I go in understanding um, psychology or going deeper into, you know, heavy, heavy ways of thinking as well is it can be very lonely as well, because what's happening, you're going higher and higher and higher and the other person or the other people around you, they have, they aren't expanding. And so you're like, I, I can't be received. I don't know. How can, how can I, how can I get connection when this person can't, isn't, isn't willing or able to come, you know, see my, see me, like really see me, hear me, understand me, like feel me, vibe, and under, you know, integrate me. So you can't get integration. And sometimes that can be a big problem. And it is a very, very big problem in my life as well. Uh, a lot of the time we try and connect with people that are just completely not able to hold space for you at all. And it's very tough. And with the society thing, it's kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of no different to like, particularly with dating and stuff like that, or matters of the heart, it's, uh, it's no different to kind of putting yourself on a, you know, in a shop window for sale and being something on a shop, you know, you swipe, 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 swipe on these apps, it's quite difficult. And that is up upsetting as well. Um, so, it, you know, lots of social anxiety can be developing um, around issues to do with three of swords. Um, we'll have a quick look at this card in reverse. I won't go into it too much, but obviously um, this obviously is gravity. And in reverse, we would kind of see that gravity is pulling it downwards. So we'd see that this card is connected to uh, very like letting go of something or removing the swords out of the heart. And so I think it's really important as, and I'm going to say this after what I've just said before, and I hope I haven't upset any of you because it's not my intention, but a big part of our pain is that we, we don't make it a part of our identity. We can't live in the pain. We can't live there. We have to eventually work out a strategy or a process to face it, deal with it, integrate it, get the lesson and get out and move on in our lives because a lot of people cling to their fucking story and they need, and it really gets in the way of their, of their timeline. And they see the world through the lens of this very painful lens. And it is a painful world. Like, don't get me wrong. There's beauty in this world and there's incredible cruelty and pain as well. Um, but we can't live in the pain. We can't be like emo goth hating the world and hating everyone else and hurting other people because we're all hurt and fucked up. That's not right. That's not 
that's no way to go through life. So I think for me, um, you know, if you get the Three of Swords and if it's just a one card reading, a big part of it would be like, um, what do I need to heal here? What is the process that I need to let go of this rejection or let go of this um, this blindsiding? It, you know, it's come out of nowhere. It could be someone's betrayed you, hurt you, something isn't resolved. Try and fill in the blanks that you can to get that resolution that you can and really get out of the sorrow and the grief of it all and really try to find the motivation and, and channel yourself to get out of unhealthy thought patterns. Uh, a lot of depression, I think, is really lifestyle change. It's not something that you just go get a pill and magically it all, you know, all better, you know. No, it's because something in your heart's not right and it's because, you know, something's making your soul sick. There are gyms out there in the world that treat the physical body, but where are the gyms that treat the mind and the soul? There's none. And that's fucked up. So, you know, check in with people, be honest with yourself, be transparent with yourself. If you're upset with something, don't hide it, suppress it, deny it, disown it, pretend it didn't exist. It did exist. It is real. And honor that, honor your feelings. And and I think that's where it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, also as well with this card, it can be quite triggering. Um, pain and heartache is a tricky one because it can come in so many different forms. It could be that you feel you're not good enough or that someone isn't good enough for you. And fundamentally, I'll say this. If you meet somebody and you feel that they're not good enough for you, that's not the other person's fault. That in anxiety or that feeling of not being good enough was in you first. They just exacerbated it or brought it out it's like a spider if you see a spider is it the spider's fault that you hate the spider that you're scared of the spider what are you going to kill the spider now no the spider is just being a spider i hope that makes sense so it's more about looking at our own self and our own ways that we deal with things internally so that we're really okay with ourselves and we're not being triggered by other people all the fucking time and being able to just see that you know we have to work on ourselves. You know, we really have to do that work. We've all got work. We've all got pain in ourselves. We've all got heartbreak somewhere inside. No one goes through life without getting hurt. We all get hurt and pretending that you don't. And a big part of that actually, funnily enough, as a man is that socially men are not allowed to cry. Men are not allowed to show emotion. We're supposed to be really strong, really tough. We're not allowed to show weakness. Um, but you know, we know it takes more courage and strength to admit that we need others because we are social creatures and the answers are not all in ourselves. They're in everyone. They're in everything. And, um, if you're out there in the spiritual world and you are watching this video, I hope that this is helping. Um, when I hear stuff like the answers are all inside of you, that is completely crazy. It's not, they're everywhere. Answers are in everything. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the artwork that I did for the El Goliath Tower. I know this has been a heavy chat and it is a two-part video, but I mean, I had to just get a lot of this out there. Um, the Three of Swords is an adverse card for a lot of people. Um, and obviously, I really wanted to keep in with the traditional Three of Swords. I didn't want to go too far off base because I really feel that it, the traditional one is just, for me, perfect in, in itself. So, I mean, it's just my own version of it. I chose to go with a beautiful oak tree. And it's like the oak tree has been cut in half and it's been completely severed. And it was something that was quite dramatic. And it was like a fracture that occurred in the tree. And, um, and you know, the tree can't recover from this. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But eventually it's going to rot and decay because the trauma has been so severe. So it's kind of like that expansion thing that we saw in the tower card where we need to let go of things that no longer serve us anymore. So this card could often serve as a warning. It could be coming, it could have passed. It could be, you know, obviously linked to a cheating spouse, a deceptive friend. You're tangled up in a web of, lot, web of lies. It could be a third party relationship, like a triangle, and that doesn't work out. This is also connected to triangulation, where we throw someone under the bus to pull the other person close and build a rapport to them. You know, obviously, you know, tarot is about psychology. Um, this is a psychological card. <laughs> Um, the Three of Swords means that, you know, you've been sitting in this place, um, but there is hope. And I, I wanted to put hope in here. If I bring this closer, you'll see that there are flowers growing at the bottom of the tree. And it's kind of like there's little daisies and they're kind of, 
you know, they're pushing up through. It's like fertilizer, like fertilizer shit. You know, the, the shit actually can regenerate and create a beautiful, you know, feed a tree. So I think it's kind of like nature's own version of recycling in a, <laughs> in a lot of ways. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's a sign of inspiration and hope that you will, you, you can't, I know things are tough. I know things are dark. I know the world's dark and it's fucked up, but I feel like, you know, just the cloud will lift, the depression, the clouds can pass, it will move on eventually, you know, it does get better if you just please hang tough if you're out there and you're going through some stuff and this Three of Swords card is popping up around you, you're feeling the vibe of the card, you know, please go get help, go speak to someone, tell someone it's completely okay to not be okay, we're all, you know, that's a big thing is when we we say, you know, we ask someone how they are and the other person just says, I'm good, how are you? I'm, I'm happy. That's crazy. We're all like, what if you want to cry? What if you want to scream? It's not realistic. It's okay to say I'm not feeling okay. Don't be polite and lie about how you feel just to appease someone else. You know, I, I hope that helps. But yeah, I didn't mean to get very serious. So serious with this card, but at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is. This is the real thing. It's real tarot and coffee chat. Um, and I hope that this video has been very helpful and insightful. Um, and I wish you guys the absolute best. If you'd like to ask me anything at all, any question about anything tarot, esoteric, art related, um, you can send uh, an email through to info at the Um Links will be in the description below. And uh, also you can find me on Instagram. So that's, I do reply to everyone. I try to get everyone. I promise I'll reply. I'm real. Um, this is a real channel. And I really hope that this video has helped um, explaining the Three of Swords a bit better. Hang tough. And, um, you know, no man's an army. So I wish you well on your journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, peace.